What's going on, everybody? It's LSU Maniac coming back at you for another little break. And we got a good one for y'all today. Today, we are going to be doing what's called the Firebox. And if you're a longtime member of the Facebook group or the channel, we've done the first two of these. I want to say this is the third, maybe the fourth. No, this is the fourth. I got the note right here. And we've done every one of them. He's been so kind to send me one every single time. And guys, this will be the last fourth and final firebox Mr. John McCormick is putting out. One of a just a great, great member in this community. And I cannot thank him enough for sending this out to me and uh, letting me do a preview of it. Now guys, before we get started, I don't think this is a firebox. He basically sent me some stuff and I'm pretty much just getting it out there, letting people know that he's coming out with it. As of this moment, I think it's going to be in the Facebook group where he's going to be selling them. Uh, but I'm pretty sure, y'all, if you want to get one, you could probably contact me in the comments section of this video and we could make that happen. I'm pretty sure. He, he's pretty flexible. And like I say, the Facebook link is always in the description below. But we got a long letter here. We're going to kind of go through this. And uh, at the top, it basically says, here's the fourth firebox. And he kind of tells you he's been going through some tough times. Life happens, we know. And he's basically saying his whole collection is going to be thrown into this. And he's a huge collector. A lot of uh, vintage stuff he collects. So here we go. The price, the big box of fire is going to be 300 Everybody gets all the best I have. There are three chase boxes, and he's also going to have three sports. So I'm assuming each sport is going to have a chase box. And no, this is not a chase box up here. So you can see the big chase boxes for the baseball. You have two autographed certified Mickey Mantle picks. One of them also has two Whitey Ford signatures. Football is going to have an autographed COA, Certificate of Authenticity, of Baker Mayfield jersey. Basketball is going to be a 20-pack box of 1920 Illusions, Ja Morant. So that's pretty nice right there. And then he's got a big list right here of just all the hits. You can freeze frame that. That's going to be the baseball we can see a rookie card of Mike Trout. A ton of great, great years of vintage right here. Rookie cards. We got a one-on-one Michael Ottenbritt printing plate auto. Shoei Otani, Acuna, Devers. And over 300 rookies from last five years. Then we got some chase and hits for the football. We got Tom Brady rookie card. 86 Rice rookie card. Just a ton of different stuff right here. I'll kind of just let y'all scan it. I see Dan Marino. I mean, a lot of nice stuff. Brian Leftwich. Trevor Lawrence. I mean, just a ton of stuff. John Elway, Marino, LT. Plaxico Burris, a lot of stuff in here. Then we got the basketball, 89 Jordan, as is PSA 8, also assorted Jordan cards. Tall boys, Jerry West, look at the old school in here. Earl Monroe, or Pearl Monroe, James Silas, 20 cards in all, 79 to 80. And then we got, again, thank you for all your help. This is a ton of help with medical bills. Yeah, he's going through a lot of tough times, and it's just it's a sad thing to see, but I understand. We've all been there. Things happen. And he goes on to say on here, every box will be guaranteed to have $300 in value, so... Guys, it's a good box. Anybody that's bought one of these before knows just how good they are. And it's a treat to me just to be able to open this stuff. Like I said, I don't think this is an actual firebox. Strap in. It's probably going to be a long one. We got a lot of stuff here, guys. 
But yeah, some of the stuff that I've gotten from the firebox in the past, I mean, I've got trout rookies. So, so many great things that he sent me. And this pack right here says the kitchen sink. And then we got another pack that says vintage 57 to 75. Then we got rookies and prospects and hits. We'll move this to the side because we got a lot of stuff to get through, y'all. That's a ton of top loaded cards right here. John, once again, man, thank you so, so much. And with not a lot of stuff coming out, you know, this is also really, really a big help to get content out to you guys. And at the same time, it's helping you get these moved and sold. So here we go, y'all. We got a green of Mr. Mike Clevenger. That is from the, uh, now I can't even think of it. Well, y'all know what it is. Ben Baller. Ben Baller. There you go. How about my boy Craig Biggio? Nice early, early photo. There's a newer set right there from the newest Prestine, Pure Power, Mr. Mookie. We got a George Brett. A Chrome MLB Stars Bellinger. He knows I like Mr. Abrams. C.J. Abrams, pro debut. There's a nice Vladdy Jr. Rainbow Fall. Very nice. There's a throwback. Sandy Koufax from Prism. We've got a Joey Gallo from Optic. And an opening day, Mr. Bryce Harper. Ken Griffey Jr. Revolution. So that's from, uh, man, I cannot think today. Chronicles. Panini Chronicles. Very nice card there. Moving right along, we got some Chris Bryant. That's from this year's Donners. Insert from Tops this year, Soto. Tatis. Guess that's just a regular base card of Tatis from Heritage. Will to win, Mr. Nolan. Shohei Otani. Another nice Bryce Harper. Chipper Jones and a Nick Castellanos from this year's Donners out of 2022. We got a freshman flash rookie, Jordan Alvarez. Man, he's been in a slump back on the DL. Hopefully he gets back for the playoffs. Nice card there. Fan favorite, Mr. Freddie Freeman from Optic. That's going to be numbered pink velocity out of 249. One of my idols, man, Mr. Jeff Bagwell. We got a purple of Trey Turner. And a couple of more from the kitchen sink. We got a orange, orange, excuse me. That's going to be out of two ninety nine. Fast friends, T. Oscar and Mr. Bo Bichette. Just now went to the uh, IR again, the uh, IR, but the DL, Mr. Tony Gonslin, and No Hit Club, Catfish Hunter. So a lot of nice stuff there. tons of stuff all right what else we gonna go i guess we're gonna go to vintage and this is definitely not my speed i know there's a lot of big vintage collectors out there and you really can't go wrong with vintage anymore y'all it's only gonna go up in value people out there trying to look and complete sets and this is something i just have very very little of i don't have hardly any vintage stuff and the vintage that I've got, a lot of it has came from this firebox. You know, look at this. I, that's an old, old set. Very nice car. Look at this. George Brett from 86, I believe. Which year is that? No, that's 84 tops. 1984. 1982. Dale Murphy on there. Very nice card. Look at old Al Oliver. Check him out. Steve Carlton. And this is no reprint, y'all. I'm going to be just straight up. This is no reprint. This is very old 1980s top Steve Carlton. We got the Wizard, Ozzy Smith. Another, another old card, man. That is going to be from 1982 tops. Early on in his career. 
I'll definitely take that, man. How about old Jack Morris? So no, I mean, every card so far from this vintage has been Hall of Famers, big names. No commons thrown in here at all, y'all. There's another nice one, Mike Schmidt. And y'all see a lot of this from Topps' 35th anniversary. Willie Wilson. Here's a fairly new one from Fleer Ultra, Mike Piazza. Back in the day, I remember it was all about the, the insert cards. When I was young and collecting in the early to mid-90s, it was all about them inserts. Tony Perez, I pulled an auto of his last year, I believe, from uh, Heritage. I mean, look at all this. What year is this? I said again, 1984. Bucky Dent, check it out, in action. And this is probably from the 50s, I'm assuming. Rocky Bridges. I wish it would tell you on here, but... I know some of y'all in the comments are going to know, but that is from the 50s, I can tell you. Johnny Oates, catcher. A rookie cup for my Astros, Larry Milburn, second baseman. Another Astros, Lee May. Keeping it with the theme, Fred Sherman. Cesar Sedano. Don Clendon, Clendon, <laughs> a little before my time. We got a top checklist here. Is that Frank? Oh, no, I guess I guess that's old Frank. We got Rudy May, Willie Davis. That's a lot of old stuff here. Lee May. 1960s tops, Dick Schofield. And then we have in a one touch, 1965 ERA leader, Sandy Koufax. Look at that. Juan Marshall, Vern Law. That is sweet. Man, that is sweet. I can promise you I don't have that in my collection at all. And this is what you get from the firebox, y'all. And I'm going to keep reiterating. This is not one of your fireboxes. He put this together for me just to review to you guys. So up next, we got rookies and prospects. And this is more up to my speed. Love me some prospects. Rookie cards. Bowman is my thing. And I can already see some 2022 Bowman in here. Another thing nice, every single card we have looked at has been in a top loader. Mr. James Wood having a fantastic season. We got a Bowman Mojo, Ronier Quintero, very nice. Luke Waddle Mojo, so some very nice stuff here. Another nice card, first round pick Max Muncy, Felix Valerio. Now we got a Jazz Chisholm from 2021 Stadium Club. A guy that is having a fantastic season, man. Shane McClanahan. Super young. That guy has got a super bright future. Mr. Seth Beer. Ed Howard. Uh-oh. Looks like you got one mixed up there, John. <laughs> Lou Lickmooch. Another very old 1961 and you can't never have enough of mr alex bregman he has been on a tear in the month of august very nice there he is wanda franco new age performer sucks man he went down like that injuries i hope it's not a problem with him we got a j-rod bobby witt joe ryan there's a nice rookie card that I don't have from Diamond King. Trey Turner. Some Astros rookies. 
O'Neill Cruz. What was that from Series 2 this year? Yep. And I don't have many of them. He's done broke records for the hardest hit ball so far. A lot of scouts and a lot of people are high on this guy. I would suggest putting his stuff away because he's probably going to be one of them guys like Adolis Garcia that kind of come out of the woodworks. Akil Badu is another one that really didn't have a lot of hype on him but just blew up. A lot of people are high on this guy. They comp him to Albert Pujols, which is kind of crazy. But John Means, another nice one. Casey Mize, flagship rookie. Adley Rushman and a Jordan Virus to finish off the prospect. So a lot of nice cards there. Once again, no real junk. It's all really nice stuff, man. And to finish this video off, y'all, we have what's called hits. John, I hope you didn't send nothing just too crazy, man. I can already see we got ink and a slab in here. So up first, we're going to have a Cole Tucker. That is a prospect card. He has had some stints. I don't know if he's still in the league, but I know Cole Tucker. He's got a lot of uh, talent, but we'll take it. A very nice card, auto, Cole Tucker, Bowman's best. Another auto is going to be Cole Reagans. That is going to be from Topps Pro Debut, I believe from 2017 this is, because it usually keeps that same design. So 2017. Still the young pitcher. Base auto Cole Reagans. Up next, we have Mr. Vidal Brujan. That is going to be from Select this year. Just a beautiful card. Tampa Bay Rays. Very big piece of relic. Up next, we're going to have a rookie. No name variant from my boy. Straight out of LSU, Greg Dykeman. And I'll tell you what, that dude had a tremendous career. Super, super talented. Very nice card. These is a limited run, the no-name variation. Very nice card. My boy, very nice PC hit too. And to finish it off, guys, we're going to have an Oswald Peraza, another nice card from Leaf. 2020, and that is going to be a one-of-one. -one. Very big name too. John Man, you've done it again, man. Thank you so, so much. You really didn't have to do this because just with the name and how much you've been around, your product's going to sell. And once again, thank you. Guys, I'm going to say it again. This was not a firebox. It's going to be similar to this. He throws a lot at you, a lot of nice stuff. All you got to do is ask in the Facebook group. If you're not a member, guys, please join. It's a great, great group to be in. I know not everybody has Facebook, and that's what I was saying. If you do want to pick one of these up, he's only making 10 of them. I don't know if I mentioned that. There's only going to be 10 boxes, multi-sport. You're going to have a baseball only, a football only, and a basketball only. Leave me a comment in the uh, description below, and I will do what I can to get in touch with John to get you one, and you will not be disappointed. I fully, fully endorse this product. Guys, thank y'all. I know this was a long one. If y'all don't mind, please leave me a thumbs up, and I'll see y'all on the next one. LSU Maniac out of here.